Do you want to build a snowman? I do. Yeah. But before you do, listen to this. In the winter, we can be exposed to twice the amount of harmful UV rays. That sun reflecting off the snow can greatly increase your risk of a sunburn. Here's the deal. Cloudy skies do not protect you. UV rays can go right through them. And here to talk winter skin protection is Dr. Frida Lewis Hall, the Chief Medical Officer of Pfizer. Thank you, thank you. I like your coat, by the way. Thank you. I'm ready. I'm ready for the wintertime here. You know, it is absolutely critical to protect kids from sun damage under any circumstances. And here's why. Because if you can protect the skin for the first 18 years of life, you can possibly reduce the risk for a number of skin cancers by nearly 80%. And we know sunscreen is one way to protect yourself, but do you all know the most missed spots? How about the underside of your chin and neck? How often do we miss this area? Yeah, and what about the eyes? We don't think about those very often. And how about lips, right? We often forget those. And the other one is the scalp. Yeah. Now, a lot, of people <laughs> a lot of people think that's only in people who are balding or who have thinning hair, but for those with luscious locks, you have to remember those part lines and behind your ears are exposed as well. So it's really important to protect everything. So protect yourself and your little ones by applying a broad spectrum sunscreen and apply one that has a greater than 30 SPF and apply it 30 minutes, a lot of people don't remember this, before you go outside, so not just right before you go out. And remember to reapply it every two hours or after you've really worked up a sweat. And you mentioned the lips, don't forget to use a lip balm that has an SPF as well. And lips always get me. I mean, you get home, they're dry, they're chapped, they're painful, they're burnt. You don't want that, but here's yeah. the other deal. Even with sunscreen, one of the things I do is I try to cover up with a hat and sunglasses. But unfortunately, one in five Americans will develop skin cancer during their lifetime. In the last 30 years, more people have had skin cancer than all other cancers combined. The best way, catch it early so it can be treated. That's exactly right. And everyone should get in to see their doctor at least once a year, their doctor or their dermatologist, to get a skin check head to toe. And it's, you know, sometimes they come up with free screenings so you can keep your eye out for those as well to make sure that you get in once a year. It's also important to check your own skin yes, between is. those visits. And here's what you want to look out for. You want to look out for skin growths that have like two sides that, that the two halves don't quite match. Or one where the borders are uneven or scalloped or notched. You also want to check to see the colors, see if the colors are varied in that. Or if it's larger than the eraser on a pencil, mm -hmm. that's, that's something to look out for. And you also want to see if it's changed in some way. Size, color, shape, or elevation, or the depth of it. And then last but not least, to check to see if it's been bleeding, itching, or crusting. These can be signs of a melanoma, the most deadly form of skin cancer. Look, if you can't see it, have, say, your spouse look at the top of your head, exactly. things like that. But a more common form of skin cancer is basal cell carcinoma. 90% of skin cancer cases in the U.S. are indeed basal cell carcinomas. It usually occurs on your face or neck as a pearly or waxy bump or as a flat, flesh-colored, brown, scar-like lesion. Good news is usually more e easily treated than melanoma. Exactly. And so it's really important, absolutely important, to protect your skin. Do not forget the sunscreen. And of course, for more information on how to protect your skin and different types of cancers, skin cancers, you can go to gethealthystayhealthy.com. And we wanna protect that skin in the wintertime and all year round. Well, thank you for that. And do we look good in our coats? Yeah. I'm just sitting here thinking, yeah. I almost wanna host the show from here on out in my coat. It's so nice and toasty. It is. Proving nice that cozy. we can stay toasty in the winter and also protect ourselves, we'll be right back.